In this video, we'll show you how to manage your contacts on the EngageSpark platform. To get to the contacts page, click on contacts at the top of the website when you're logged in. Uh, then you'll see this dashboard where you can manage your contacts. So you can manually add contacts, for example, just type in the phone number. If you want, you could put in a name um, and then just hit enter or click create and you'll now have this contact. You can also add contacts to groups. So you can just create a group, let's call it Avner, and you then select the contact. Now you'll see these options up here. You can select groups, choose the group name, and click add to select it. Now you'll see that the contact has been added to the group. We can verify by clicking on the group, and there, there is the contact. You can also um, edit your contacts simply by uh, clicking in any uh, field here. So you can put in your last name, language if you want, and so on and so forth. Uh, you can also uh, add additional columns. So if you wanted to add uh, extra attributes of contacts you could do so just click add column and for example let's add a gender column and uh, we can also add another column let's call it city so you can then uh, populate that data for example here let's put New York and gender let's put male so now that you have this data in the system, what you can also do is create smart groups which allow the system to automatically um, add and remove contacts into that group. So you can have the system automatically segment your contacts. So for example, I'll s create a group called Men in New York. And I'll say the rules are that city should be equal to New York um, and gender should be equal to male. And now what you'll see is the system automatically adds uh, that contact to the group because it meets the rules. If we were to change the city from New York to, let's say, uh, Kampala, then the contact, as soon as it updates, will automatically be removed from the smart group. You see it now switches to zero. So the system is automatically or dynamically uh, updating and segmenting your contacts into groups based on the rules that you specify. Now, of course, you can also add additional contacts very easily. Uh, you always want to begin your uh, phone number of your contacts with the country code. So you want to put the contacts in an in international format because we're a global platform uh, that is necessary. Uh, of course, and most important, uh, you can upload contacts. Uh, if you're launching engagements to hundreds or thousands uh, of contacts, of course, you're not going to manually uh, type them all in. So you can click on the upload contacts button here and then download our, our template uh, into Excel, for example, to see the format on how you should upload your contacts. So I'll go ahead and open this template so you can see it. There's, there's a lot of detail in here. So first, um, the spreadsheet uh, gives you instructions on how to use it. Uh, and the first instruction is letting you know that your phone numbers need to be in international format. And we have a tab here that automatically will convert your contacts if you have them in local format into the appropriate international format. So for example, let's click on this and take a look. So in, in this cell where you have uh, the orange highlighted cell, uh, you, you want to enter your international dialing code. So let's say you're in Uganda where the international dialing code is 256. Um, you then can paste in all of your contacts in local format in this column. And you could put them, if, if you have a mix of some in local format that begin with a zero, some that don't, some in international format, the conversion formula will handle it. So let's put one in like this, for example, and then let's put another without the zero in front, and we'll put another uh, with the international country code in front. So if you look at instruction four here, you'll have a list of instructions here helping you use this uh, international converter. Uh, it tells you here in instruction four to copy this cell, which has the formula downwards. So if you do that, then it'll automatically convert whatever is in this column where you pasted your thousands of contacts uh, to international format here. So let's change this so they're not the same. So now we have three different phone numbers in international format. The problem is that these 
uh, numbers are actually a formula. So you now need to convert them to uh, actual numbers rather than a formula. And instructions five and six help you do that. So I'll walk you through how to do it. Basically what you want to do is you want to copy uh, these numbers and then go to the contacts tab and go to the phone number uh, to the phone number column and instead of just pasting you want to actually click on this down arrow in Excel under paste and choose this paste as values and so what that'll do is instead of pasting the formula you'll actually now have the the values the actual phone numbers here then uh, you can uh, add additional information or paste it in here however you please obviously if you have a lot of stuff you would just paste it in here and then uh, paste over the phone numbers in this column so uh, then let's just put some info in here uh, and uh, so on and so forth and um, and so you also can add additional columns and the system will automatically create them. So we already have cis city and gender columns, but let's say we want to add an occupation column. So uh, let's say we want to specify for this person, they're in Kampala and their gender is female and they are a um, store owner. Uh, and this person is a farmer and they're in Kampala as well. They are male or female as well. And this person is in New York and is male. Um, and we'll just leave the occupation blank. And so now you have all of your contacts here. Of course, you'll probably have a lot more pasting them in. Hit save in Excel, close the spreadsheet. And then let's go back to the site and upload uh, the contacts, um, the spreadsheet you just created. So we go back here, select that file, and let's upload it. Now, w what you'll notice is that one of the contacts I created match the rules of this smart group. And so as you see, it went from zero to one automatically. So if you have, you know, 10, 15, however many smart groups segmenting your contacts here, uh, as you upload the contacts, they'll automatically uh, show up into the uh, groups and be segmented accordingly. They'll be added and removed as appropriate. Uh, so as you see, it meets uh, this, this contact meets that smart groups rules, which are New York and mail. The, the last item that I would show you is in uploading contacts, if you want to re-upload the same contacts um, to and uh, replace data, so let's say people's cities changed or their occupations changed, uh, you can go back into upload contacts and you select your file, check the overwrite existing contacts box. What that'll do is it will match, it'll see where the phone numbers match in your Excel spreadsheet to the contacts on the system and will automatically replace any data that you put in in the spreadsheet um, will replace whatever's on the site with the new data that you included in the Excel spreadsheet. Uh, so that's the gist of the contacts page. There's a lot of power here uh, in automatically segmenting your contacts, um, adding additional contact uh, columns to include contact attributes. Uh, you can search, of course, and upload your contacts. Great. Well, have fun managing your contacts on the uh, EngageSparks contacts page.